Vehicle rollover is the condition when the vehicle loses its state of equilibrium and undergoes a tipping motion and rolls over due to the forces acting on it. Now, the rollover definition is generally defined as the vehicle rotation of 90 degrees or more about the longitudinal axis. So when this rotation of 90 degrees or more happens about the longitudinal axis, it is termed as vehicle rollover. Now we'll have a look how this mechanism takes place. How does the forces which are acting on the vehicle contribute to the vehicle rollover? So this is the vehicle while turning. So as we have seen earlier, there is the centrifugal force in the red, which is acting at the center of gravity. The weight is acting downwards shown in green and the weight gives a reaction at the wheels in terms of the normal forces FZ1 and FZ2. And due to the cornering, there are lateral forces which are developed at the tire contact patch FY1 and FY2. This is the state of the vehicle when it is taking a turn. Now what happens is when the centrifugal force keeps on increasing at the CG, the lateral shift of the vehicle that is the roll of the vehicle is more it keeps on increasing as the roll keeps on increasing the normal load on the outer wheels will be increasing much more compared to the inner wheels so at one point the fz1 becomes so low and it becomes zero that's when the vehicle will have a net moment at p when the fz1 becomes zero the whole system is out of equilibrium Hence, the whole vehicle pivots about the point P due to the action of the centrifugal force. So this is the cause of the vehicle rollover. So as the vehicle rolls over, it goes into an uncontrolled motion and of course the accident happens. Now the point to note over here is the rollover action is directly dependent on the amount of centrifugal force which is getting developed at the CG. So it is directly dependent on the lateral acceleration which is impinged on the vehicle. What that means is when the vehicle is traveling fast and takes a turn that time the lateral acceleration acting on the vehicle is very high. So it means that the vehicle is limited to taking a certain amount of turn while traveling at a certain amount of speed. If it takes a sharp turn traveling at high speeds it is prone to roll over. So there is a limit which uh, constrains the motion of the vehicle and make, keeps it in equilibrium. So that limit, beyond that limit if the vehicle goes, it tends to roll over. One important parameter which affects the rollover behavior is the height of the center of gravity. So if the vehicle is having very high center of gravity, that means the moment which is generated at point P due to the centrifugal force will also be very high because moment is force into distance here the force is the centrifugal force and the distance is the cg height so force into distance causes moment higher the cg height higher is the moment so that's why trucks are more prone to roll over compared to cars which are low slung that is why race cars are much more safer in rollover compared to uh, maybe a passenger vehicle 